Hello guys, today's, case, today's demonstration is related with creating a dispute case from a complaint from a customer and uh, this is in SAP S4 HANA and uh, the required uh, role uh, here for the user is uh, account receivable accountant uh, and generic role. These two roles must be assigned to the user. Uh, once in this case, actually the scenario is uh, when you receive a complaint from a customer and uh, they, they discuss about something damage they have received and they are not willing to pay the full amount. So uh, that scenario can be covered by opening a dispute case from a complaint. So we will go to the customer account. Uh, So how, how we will proceed, uh, let's see, in the customer account group we need to select process receivable ties, okay, in the process receivable ties we need to uh, select the customer number and once we select the customer number then we need to click the customer record. The lower uh, lower section of the screen, or by double clicking it. Here we can see the customer details uh, containing uh, the invoices, disputes, and so on, promises, resubmission, and uh, these things are available. We need to navigate to the invoices where we are already and we need to select the uh, uh, first column, the checkbox, uh, the invoice number to start processing the item. Then we need to create the dispute, dispute case and uh, when once this dialog is open then we need to uh, enter the information here uh, and then we need to press OK. So uh, we can uh, input a uh, complaint about broken glass, which was the product we uh, delivered uh, to the customer, but it was uh, at the receiving end, it was damaged. The, uh, it was received uh, as damaged. So the category here can be selected complaints or logistics. And then reason can be damaged goods and priority can be high. And uh, processor we need to select. S4C30. Uh, uh, whoever will be the uh, processing uh, user or employee, we need to select that one. And then uh, in the notes, we can enter just, just like a customer called us and reported that uh, received uh, damaged uh, uh, goods. They have received the damaged goods. So we can uh, input the uh, uh, notes here and attachments if there is any picture or any evidence they have sent to you that can be also attached at the below, below uh, screen. Once it is entered then we can uh, press OK to close the dialog and uh, a message will uh, pop up uh, that the dispute case created. Dispute uh, created uh, message has uh, just popped up, and uh, in the disputes now one is shown, and uh, here is our dispute. So we need to now leave uh, the tie, and then we need to change the status of the new dispute case. So we need to uh, change the status to in process, and uh, uh, also processing deadline three days in future. For that matter, we need to uh, go to the dispute group and then we need to log in with the processor user or employee and uh, once we are logged in, then we need to locate the disputes group. Here also account receivable, uh, ER accountant role need to be assigned. to the user. Yeah, here it is, dispute. 
distribute cases at each of its selected here. Once we have uh, selected, then uh, we need to select the customer number. Uh, here our case is, we need to select the case and uh, So the right arrow and uh, the manage the dispute cases is show the detail of uh, the case about the damage item uh, and we will uh, select uh, the field status and we change it into in process and we will give some processing deadline which is three working days from the date and then we need to enter the notes as well for this status change. And we will uh, we'll, uh, put something that if this, the dispute is justified or not, something for every status change there, you can enter a note. And then we need to uh, select the save option at the bottom of the screen and that's it. Uh, so the case is in now uh, in process so that's it for now thank you for watching the video and please subscribe to the channel uh, so that you could receive the notification for the new videos thank you guys